Number 1. The Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean have different temperature ranges due to their distinct current patterns and geographical locations. The Atlantic Ocean tends to be warmer, while the Pacific Ocean is generally cooler. These temperature differences create a barrier that prevents the two oceans from easily mixing. Number 2. The Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean have different salinity levels. Salinity refers to the amount of dissolved salt in the water. The Atlantic Ocean has a lower salinity compared to the Pacific Ocean. Number 3. Both the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean have complex circulation patterns called currents and gyres. These currents move in specific directions and can create barriers that impede the mixing of waters between the two oceans. Number 4. The land masses surrounding the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans also contribute to their separation. Number 5. Variations in water density can hinder the mixing of the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Factors such as temperature, salinity, and nutrient content affect water density. Number 6. The prevailing wind patterns in the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans play a role in preventing their mixing. The trade winds, which blow from east to west in the tropics, have a significant impact on ocean currents. Number 7. The Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean have distinct ecosystems with unique species adapted to their respective environments. Number 8. The Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean are vast bodies of water, separated by a considerable distance. The sheer size and scale of these oceans make it difficult for their waters to mix on a large scale. Number 9. Tides, caused by the gravitational pull of the Moon and the Sun, have a significant impact on oceanic movements. The Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean experience tides at different times and amplitudes. Number 10. The movement of tectonic plates, which form the Earth's crust, can affect oceanic circulation.